the question is, what is the cheapest possible Apple computer that you can get in late 2023, early 2024? The absolute cheapest that anybody can afford. Well, not anybody can afford, but most people, 99% of the population can afford. Well, I found one. That is the iMac 2009 21.5 inch Core 2 Duo 8 gig of RAM iMac. Now, most people can do a quick eBay search and hunt for this laptop for around $40 to $80. Now, eBay trending sold, and I see a bunch that are at low as $14, but then you have to pay like $20 or $30 shipping. So still around $40 to $80. If you are lucky, you can get it around $50. Bucks. Now, uh, some listing have free shipping, some does not. But for $50, it's a fairly decent deal. What I did is uh, I bought it. I, uh, I opened it up. When I get it, I open it up. I put in a 128 gig solid state drive, which only costs 10 bucks on Amazon. 10 or $12 on Amazon for 128 gig solid state drive. And it make the computer like 20 times faster. Now, some people are going to say Apple stop the 2009 from upgrading past high sierra well that's true but you actually can use open core legacy patcher to update it to monterey or ventura and it still be very decently usable as well but the key thing is the 8 gig of ram and 128 gig solid state drive and those are dirt cheap those are like five or ten dollars online now after i did all of that upgrade my cost is fifty dollar plus a ten dollar solid state drive. I went ahead and buy like another twenty dollar wireless keyboard on Amazon. So now my total cost is eighty bucks, and I can use it for most everyday tasks. And after I'm done with it, I resell it on Facebook Marketplace for ninety nine dollars, and it's actually sell pretty fast within a like five minute of posting it. Someone want to buy it, so you can actually make a fairly decent investment like a 20 percent return right buy at 80 sell at 99 that's that's a pretty good return now to do this you have to have a little bit of a computer skill where you have to be able to open up the iMac put in a solid state drive uh, put in the basic operating system upgrading it using open core legacy patcher now all of that is fairly simple you can youtube the instruction to those things and there are a thousand of two, three minute video to show you how to do it. Anyone can do it though. So give it a shot. It's, it's a fun project.